Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today we are gonna um, up for the next video, of course, uh, to teach you guys about card activation, card startup, and card recovery, and spe uh, specifically chain casting in this game. Okay, so the thing about this game is there are a number of things you need to take note of when you build a deck and how you play a character. So we're gonna be really guys is gonna be our guest today to teach you guys the difference between all the activation speed. So over here I've got two cards. You are gonna see the activation that says long over here. Okay, you see where the mouse is pointing? This means long. This means none. And then there's one more version of it, which is over here. This is short. So for cut startup, there are three versions. And cut startup is flat across all characters, unlike cut activation. And the final is cut recovery. So we're gonna go, uh, go straight into a trial battle so that I can better show you guys what we actually mean. Okay, so uh, for this, to keep this in mind, you guys, it's going to be a little confusing when you search online because there isn't really a lot of info to go to. I but remember, each character has their own activation speed. It, it might write similar to cut, uh, casting speed or what you could be skill cuts casting and stuff like that, but it's actually very different. Okay, uh, to give you an example, first of all, let's have Rika just activate the card. You will see um, a motion where she lifts her one up into the air. That is the card startup. This is a card startup with no startup uh, activation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Do you see that? Oh, she does another card with zero startup. Uh, it will be the. Hand wave into the air, and then the card begins. The spinning part is part of the character activation itself. It's not the card startup. So remember three things: card startup, character card activation, and character card recovery. Now let's uh, do a comparison between a uh, long card. Okay, so you see, and a non card. So you see the difference, the part where she, at the very start she flips her one into the air, that is dependent fully on the card itself. That is the card start up. Now every character on the other hand has a separate card activation and card recovery speed. And this is very important because Rika has one of the slower, well not slowest but slower card activation speed in the game. Okay, so no matter how you what you do, you are not going to be able to reduce the card activation and card recovery speed. So here's an example. If I do this alone, see she spins and she shoots versus she does this. She spins, she shoots. Uh, I chain cast, but she still spins and she still shoots. So this is the character card activation speed that is fully dependent on the character. The recovery is the same as well for all characters. They, are, they all have their own individual cast, card activation and card recovery speed. But for card startup, there is something every player do to reduce it. Okay, so what happens here is when you chain cast a card, basically you cast a card and then you immediately go into another card. What it does is it turns all card startups into zero. Okay, so this is the animation. This is the original animation for a long startup. It takes a while to speed it up. If you cancel it, this time, this card with the same long startup, will the startup will disappear. It will turn into a non-activation, which is just a single flip, and the card will activate immediately. Take a look at this. See that? The animation disappears. However, if I use a none one, it really doesn't make a difference because this card itself already has zero startup. So I do this. Versus I do this. It's almost similar. The only difference is that at the very start, I have to cast another card and the time taken there can negligible but it's still there for a card startup okay 
What are the benefits of a chain casting? First of all, when you do a chain casting, you do not get knockback. So when your card is already in the activated state, so not the startup state, this startup, you can still be knocked out of. When she is still waving her hand uh, before her wand goes up, she can still be knocked up. But if she starts spinning, that is where the card activation comes in, the knock up will no longer be there. So what happens if, if you definitely want a card to be cast and you don't want to be knocked out of it, you can still be stunned out of it, but you do not want to be flinched or knocked out of it, what you do is you do this. So you remove the startup completely, turn it from a nun guard. It, it's really hard to cancel a nun guard to be honest. So uh, if you do that, Nobody will be able to card cancel you, or rather nobody will be able to cancel your cards. Okay, that's the thing about the guides online. Okay, the guides online when they say card cancel, it actually refers to you cancelling the cards out of your opponent. Now if you, so over here, take note, it is, one, first of all, card startup, and then card activation, the spinning. And finally, card recovery, where it's the part where you cast the card and you finally finish the cast and you get to recover. Now, uh, Ririka is a great example because she actually has really slow cast time, so most of the time you'll be using cards that you don't have to cast. Now, uh, that is it for chain casting and the benefits of chain casting. I will just know. I, I mean, let's go into a battle right now and so that you can get a even better example of what you can do because during battles itself you can chain cast into card combos and that's where the deck building comes in i'm going to show you one right now all right granted the example that i'm going to be giving you is one of my dumber builds for justice uh, and nobody likes it nobody is supposed to like it do not use it in rank you will you will make a lot of people tilt <laughs> And, but it works! It works every now and then! So... Okay, remember, what cut, uh, chain casting does is it removes the startup for the card itself. So we're gonna use Justice. And we're gonna use... Let's take a look, where is the card? Now we're gonna use this. Alright, this has zero startup. And then with that, we're gonna use another card. Zero startup. And finally, we are going to go into a card that is very hard to combo into. Or actually hit, which is Leon. Let me start by card level. Yeah, it's usually up there. There we go. Now heal cards are not always going to have a like short cast. I mean no cast. So Gabriel it heals you to full, but it has short cast. The the latest card that came in with short with no cast that is also a heal is all the way below. Yeah, this one. So for Fate, you got Sakura. Why this only heals 70% and has the same cooldown as Gabriel is because it has no cast time. No cast time cards generally cannot be stopped. And that's why Jaeger, Diva and a few other cards are so strong. So for but for justice, this is for testing thing, I am going to use Gabriel instead. Yeah, just to show you guys what this guy can do. Ah, there's a bit of lag again. Uh, forgive me for that, because it's it kind of... Oops, wrong button. Yeah, there we go. Now remember, the, what we've learned today is chain casting cards. So what does chain casting do again? It prevents you from being knocked back. It allows you to remove your card startup for the character itself. And Justice, Justice the thing about him is his card activation for multi-hits is very strong. But his range is terrible. 
So what we're gonna do there is we are gonna try to chain combo uh so called no startup card into a long activation card into a good card that I can actually do damage out of and then finally end it with another long startup because the startup is non existent when I cancel it. Alright, here we go. Ah, not, not the best of maps. And at the start of the game, you change element. Now, mo most, most justice don't walk. They bring a card called Door, and they are supposed to teleport because it's actually what makes justice strong. And justice passive works only when there are allies around. So, personally, I think I'm okay with that. That guy is a counter. We are going. Ah, it's just I won't need to use a card anymore. Okay, there we go. Oh no! Okay, let's use the long card because you look at the activation is so long. But if I cancel it, uh, I lose the knockback. Oh no! That's okay. I'm gonna guard. Okay, the thing is gonna go. Oh no! Uh oh! We're actually gonna lose the thing to no hope, but uh. Ah, never mind. So we do this, and then we do that, and then we do this, and he has no escape. So you see, even those. Oh my god, cause it's gone, uh, I still managed to do things. Oh, I just need to hit this guy one- Ah oh, man, this sucks. Ah shit, I should have got it. That's kind of my fault. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, so, so the thing is, it's not exactly the strongest justice deck, but because of how the cards can combo into each other, it kind of works. Now the game plan for this deck is it used to be just guarding till my cooldowns are back, and then killing all of them when I'm ready. Wait, why? Okay, I, I, I did not expect that. Yeah, we got it, we got it. Please tell me we got it. We got it. Yeah, now I just need to guard here. Nah, he's not gonna get it. Like he has to kill me. In... Yeah, there's a there's a guy who can start. Oh, we won. Okay, so that's it for how to build a deck around with long startups, but also using the character, uh, taking into account your character activation speed. So uh, just for a quick glimpse, I'm going to show you guys what, where to find the character activation. Okay, there's a list of it online on the Japanese wiki and uh, do, if you check out the Google Doc guides that the English speaking players have, they, it's written for each character as well, that's for convenience. Uh, but if you want to see it in game, this is where you find it. <laughs> There you go, oops, wrong one. You go over here to hero, you see this plus sign? This plus sign here? Yeah, that, that's what you press. Now after pressing it, you scroll all the way down. Oh, this is taking a while to load. I don't remember just this taking this long. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, maybe it hang. There we go. Oh yeah. So Justice basically have slow, slow, slow. 
fast. Alright, for character activation speed, the card activation speed, it's going to be rated between fast, slow, and medium. For justice, it's melee card is slow, range card is slow as you saw just now. The AOE card is slow and the Rengeki card, the multi hits card is the fastest of them all. Okay, so that's it for today. We are probably going to talk about mini maps and portal capturing tomorrow or probably sometime this week. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something new and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.